Hi, my friends. My name is Miss Grace, and I'm so excited to be reading with you today. We are going to be reading this story called A Birthday Basket for Tia. And this story is written by someone called Pat Mora. They're the author, which means they wrote all of the words in this story. And it's illustrated by someone named Cecily Lang. And since they're the illustrator, that means this person made all of the pictures in the story. And on this first picture here on the front cover, I see a girl named Cecilia wearing red right here and her cat named Chica. And she is hugging her great aunt right here in the green. My friends, in this story, Cecilia speaks Spanish. So she calls her aunt her tia. And in this story, it is Tia's birthday. And Tia is turning 90 years old. That is a lot of years. So it's a very special birthday. And uh, Cecilia wants to do something fun for her Tia's birthday. So let's find out what they do. Today, is secret day. I curl my cat into my arms and say, shh, Chica, can you keep a secret? So here, Cecilia is holding her cat, Chica, giving it a big hug, and she is telling her cat that she has a secret, something that somebody doesn't know. And my friends, let's look at Cecilia's face right here. How do you think she's feeling about this secret? It looks like she has a smile on her face, and so I'm thinking that maybe the secret is something good. She's feeling maybe kind of excited about the secret, and I don't know about you, friends, but I am very eager, very interested to see what the secret is. Let's keep reading. Today is special day. Today is my great aunt's 90th birthday, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90 years old, 90 años. At breakfast, Mama asks, what is today, Cecilia? I say, special day, birthday day. So here we can see Cecilia and her mom are talking about today and why it's special. And we find out that it's because it is great aunt, her great aunt, her Tia's 90th birthday. And that is what is making this day so special. So I wonder what they're going to do for this big birthday. Mama is cooking for the surprise party. I smell beans bubbling on the stove. Mama is cutting fruit, pineapple, watermelon, mangoes. I sit in the backyard and watch Chica chase butterflies. I hear the bees bzzz. I draw pictures in the sand with a stick. I draw a picture of my aunt, my tia. I say, Chica, what will we give tia? So for this very special birthday, they are going to have a surprise party, a party that Tia doesn't know is going to happen. She's gonna be so surprised and so shocked when she finds out they're throwing a party just for her. And so it looks like they're all doing things to get ready for this party. Cecilia's mom here is cooking all of this delicious food. She's making beans on the stove. She's cutting up fruit, there's watermelon, pineapple, and some mangoes. And Cecilia wants to do something special for her aunt too. She wants to get a present for her, something she can give to Tia. So I wonder what she's going to choose. Chica and I walk around the front yard and the backyard looking for a good present. We walk around the house, we look in Mama's room. We look in my closet and drawers. I say, Chica, 
Shall we give her my little pots, my piggy bank, my toy fish, my dancing puppet? So Cecilia is looking all over to try and find something special to give her Tia as a present for her birthday. So she's looking in her mom's room, she's looking in her own room, thinking that maybe Tia will like something that's special to her, like her piggy bank or her dancing puppet. But it doesn't seem like she's found the right thing yet. So, hmm. I wonder what she will find. I say, Mama, can Chica and I use this basket? Mama asks, why, Cecilia? It's a surprise for the surprise party, I answer. Chica jumps into the basket. <laughs> no, I say, not for you, silly cat. This is a surprise basket for Tia. So here, my friends, Cecilia sees this big basket and she gets an idea for something that she can give to Tia and she's going to use this basket to make a surprise. I wonder what she's going to use the basket for. Let's find out. Oh, I put a book in the basket. When Tia comes to our house, she reads it to me. I sit close to her on the sofa and I smell her perfume. Sometimes Chica tries to read with us too. She sits on the book and I say, silly cat, books are not for sitting. So the first thing Cecilia puts in this basket is this book and it's a very special book because it is her and her Tia's favorite book. They like it better than all the other books and it reminds her of how when her Tia comes over, they sit really close and they get all snuggled up and they read this book together. And I can see they are looking at this book and it looks like they really enjoy spending time together, my friends. It looks like a good book too. I can see the cover is all decorated with pictures of leaves and these big cats. So maybe it's about the outdoors. They're having a good time. So Cecilia wants to give Tia this book to remind her of how they read together. Next, I put Tia's favorite mixing bowl in the book in the basket. Tia and I like to make bizcochos, sugary cookies for the family. Tia says, Cecilia, help me stir the cookie dough. So they're making cookie dough together, my friends. And Cecilia is helping her Tia make the cookie dough. So they're gonna stir it in this big mixing bowl. And my friends, can we all help them to stir the cookie dough? Let's stir it up in this big mixing bowl. Do you wanna stir with me? All right, great job, my friends. Next, Tia says, Cecilia, help me roll the cookie dough. So now they stirred it up in this big mixing bowl. They're gonna roll it out and make it nice and flat. So my friends, let's help Cecilia and her Tia roll the cookie dough. Let's use a rolling pin and roll it out so it's really nice and flat so we can make those cookies. All right, good work, my friends. When we take the warm cookies out of the oven, Tia says, Cecilia, you are a very good cook. So next in the basket, Cecilia puts this big mixing bowl because it reminds her of making bizcochos, a special kind of cookie with her Tia for her family. So we can see here, Tia is holding her cane, which is like a long stick with a curved handle to help her walk. And she is teaching Cecilia how to make these cookies for the family. I wonder what Cecilia is going to put in this basket next. I put a flower pot in the basket. Tia and I like to grow flowers for the kitchen window. Chica likes to put her face in the flowers. Silly cat, I say. All right, so next Cecilia chooses this pretty flower pot because it reminds her of how her Tia likes to grow flowers in their window. And look at all these beautiful flowers decorating the windowsill. They're very pretty. 
looks like maybe Cecilia helps to take care of the flowers. And here Chica is being a rascal, being really silly and jumping up into the flowers to hide. Let's see what Cecilia chooses for the basket next. I put a teacup in the basket. When I'm sick, my aunt makes me hot mint tea, yerba buena. She brings it to me in bed. She brings me a cookie too. So next, my friends, Cecilia chooses this little teacup to go into the basket because she remembers how when she is sick and when she's not feeling good, her tia comes over and brings her this kind of tea called yerba buena to help her feel better. My friends, how do you think Cecilia feels when her tia takes care of her like this? Yeah, it looks like she's very grateful that her tia is making her feel better when she feels sick. And my friends, I bet this is a very special memory that she has with her tia. And so she decides to put this teacup into the birthday basket. Now, I don't know about you, my friends, but this basket is looking really full. I don't know how much else is going to fit in there. Let's see. Next, I put a red ball in the teacup that is in the flower pot, in the mixing bowl, on the book, in the basket. On warm days, Tia sits outside and throws me the ball. She says, Cecilia, when I was a young girl in Mexico, my sisters and I played ball. We all wore long dresses and had long braids. So next in the basket, Cecilia puts this little red ball because it reminds her of how on nice sunny days, she goes out with her tia and they throw it and they play catch. And uh, Cecilia also knows, she remembers how tia told her that this little red ball is very special to her because when she was a kid, she would play with it with her sisters. So now the ball is in the basket. Let's see what is going on next. All right, my friends, what do you see going into this basket now? I see all these beautiful flowers going into the basket and Cecilia says, Chica and I go outside. I pick flowers to decorate Tia's basket. On summer days when I am swinging high up to the sky, Tia collects flowers for my room. So Cecilia picks all these beautiful flowers to decorate the basket and make it look very pretty because she remembers how on nice summer days, when she goes out to play on her swing, her Tia picks these pretty flowers to decorate her room. So she puts them in the basket to make it look nice and pretty. Mama calls, Cecilia, where are you? Chica and I run and hide our surprise. I say, Mama, can you find the birthday basket for Tia? Mama looks under the table. She looks in the refrigerator. She looks under my bed. She asks, Chica, where is the birthday basket? So now the birthday basket is all finished, my friends. Cecilia has put everything in there that she wants to put in there for Tia. And she decides to be a little rascal. She decides to be silly and play a game with her mom. Kind of like when Peter was being a rascal in Peter's chair and he hid from his mom. So she hides the birthday basket. So her mom tries to find it. Chica rubs against my closet door. Mama and I laugh. I show her my surprise. So Chica ended up giving it away. She showed Mama where the birthday basket is. After my nap, Mama and I fill a pinata with candy. We fill the living room with balloons. I hum a little work song like the one Tia hums when she sets the table or makes my bed. I help Mama set the table with flowers and tiny cakes. All right, so now that the birthday basket is done, 
Cecilia is helping her mama get all ready for the party. So they are putting up decorations, they're decorating with balloons and pretty flowers, and these little candies and cakes. And it looks like they're making a nice, big, beautiful pinata with a lot of different colors. And it looks like they're almost ready for the party to start. Here come the musicians, says Mama. I open the front door. Our family and friends begin to arrive too. All right, so here my friends, all these people are coming to the party. And right now for us, we can't have big parties because it's not safe and some people might get sick. But in this story, Cecilia and her family don't have to worry about people getting sick. So they're able to invite all of their family and friends and even some musicians who are holding instruments here that they're going to use to make music to the party. So now the decorations are up. I see their house is all beautifully decorated. There's a pinata hanging up and they're almost ready for the party. But one person is not here yet. I wonder when Tia is going to come. I curl Chica into my arms. Then Mama says, shh, here comes Tia. I rush to open the front door. Tia, Tia, I shout. She hugs me and says, Cecilia, que pasa? What is this? Wait, so finally Tia has gotten to the party and Cecilia is so eager and excited to show her all the decorations and all of the exciting things going on that she runs to the door she rushes over as fast as she can and she gives Tia a big hug and Tia my friends look at her face I wonder how she's feeling right now how do you think she's feeling Yeah, it looks like she has a big smile on her face. And I also see my friends, her eyebrows are up super high. She looks so happy and she also looks so surprised. Like she had no idea that this party was going to happen. Surprise, we all shout. Feliz cumpleaños, happy birthday. The musicians begin to play their guitars and violins. Tia, Tia, I say, it's special day, birthday day. It's your 90th birthday surprise party. Tia and I laugh. So let's look at this picture, my friends. So many people are here to celebrate the party. They all look so eager and excited and happy to be celebrating Tia's special day with her. I see the musicians too. They're starting to play their instruments over here. They're making beautiful music. Some people are dancing along to it. Like this person and this little baby is even dancing to the music. And my friends, I think all these people must love Tia so much to want to come and celebrate her special day with her. And my friends, what do you see happening here? I see Tia, it looks like she's found another surprise after her party. She has found this birthday basket that Cecilia put together for her. And she is taking out some of the things and looking at them. So Cecilia says, I give her the birthday basket. Everyone gets close to see what's inside. Slowly Tia smells the flowers. She looks at me and smiles. Then she takes the red ball out of the teacup and the teacup out of the flower pot. She pretends to take a sip of tea and we all laugh. So she's looking first. She sees these beautiful flowers that Cecilia picked. She sees she's found this little red ball. And now Tia is the one being kind of silly. She's pretending to drink tea out of the teacup. See? The other things that she finds. Carefully, Tia takes the flower pot out of the bowl and the bowl off the book. She doesn't say a word. She just stops and looks at me. 
Then she takes our favorite book out of the basket. All right, so my friends, now that Tia has looked at all of these things that remind her and Cecilia of their special memories together, she is so happy and so grateful that she doesn't even have any words to say. She is overwhelmed. She has so many emotions and happiness going on that she doesn't know what to say to Cecilia. And guess who jumps into the basket now that it's empty? Chica, everyone laughs. So now that everything's taken out of the basket, Chica jumps in to sit in the basket. Then the music starts and my aunt surprises me. She takes my hand in hers. Without her cane, she starts to dance with me. So now that Tia has opened up the birthday basket, the musicians start to play again. They're playing their instruments and making music. And Tia and Cecilia stand up and they start dancing. And Tia puts down her cane because Cecilia is holding her hand and helping her stand up while they're dancing. And how do you think Tia and Cecilia are feeling right now, my friends? Oh, they look like they're having a really fun time. They're dancing around. They have smiles on their faces. They look really content to me, my friends. Their eyes are closed and they're just happy to be there with each other. The end. Thank you so much for reading the story with me, my friends. I had a great time learning about what Cecilia and her mom did for Tia's special birthday. And if you go ahead and watch the next video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the musicians in this story and the instruments they used. See you there.